The first evidence of graffiti art appears thousands of years ago on the walls of the caves. Later, ancient Greeks and Romans wrote poems on buildings as a form of protest against current systems. Graffiti artists have now evolved of the need to present personal messages and advocacies across the urban landscapes around the world to reach out to a larger number of people outside the art galleries. EUU Talk is very pleased to present today Egg Fiasco, a young Filipino urban artist. Your name is Egg Fiasco. Yeah. Uh, Can you explain where does it come from? The story of uh, Egg Fiasco is when graffiti era started. I was pretty exploring about graffiti and I didn't know about anything about it yet. But that night we needed to make a, a pseudonym, like a street name, right? So I was thinking like uh, since my friends like, call me uh, Gag or Egg because my, my name is Greg. It's funny, you know, it's, Egg is a bit symbolic. A symbol of life and something I can have fun with. So I uh, started doing writing my name as Egg, I'm doing illustrations of funny things. Later on, I, I was getting busy doing graffiti and I was hanging out with a crew where they're doing letter style. So with Egg, I can do anything because it's just three circle letters. This one time, I was watching a movie called Elizabeth Town by uh, Orlando Bloom. He's a shoe designer. He was explaining uh, the word fiasco because he's a designer and nobody bought his design. He was uh, saying a line that uh, every fool can achieve a failure, but a fiasco is another level. I got stuck in that phrase and I like the letters and uh, I start using that as a graffiti name. Later on, I put them together, egg and fiasco. It's a positive and negative, so I have a, a little bit of yin yang or a balance of name. I like it because it's easy to remember. To show their face. Yeah. Is there a reason for this? When I was young, we were doing a lot of graffiti and it's a bit illegal. So I, I'm, I'm not having people photograph my face, but later on, you know, I have uh, got into a series like in an exhibition, I start signing my right. name and like, People start to recognize me, so there's no point of uh, hiding my identity anymore. No, that's it. That, that's interesting, and 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 certainly it comes with uh, recognition, right? Yeah. And um, so, is graffiti artist the right definition of what you do, or is there another another definition? Work as a tattoo artist for several years, and I also doing exhibition. I design toys, and so it changes when you do a lot of different things. Right now we are comfortable called urban artists. Did you grow up here in Metro Manila? I actually grew up in Iloilo. In right, the, in the Visayas? In the uh, Visayas Islands. Mm -hmm. I was brought here in Manila for studies mm -hmm. during uh, high school and then also college here in Manila. Yes, what did you study? Artists, you know, <laughs> before traditionally artists not really making money or... Right. But it's the only thing that I really want to do. I choose advertising, so right. it's a bit art, but then I didn't uh, pursue it because it's a complete opposite of what I really want to do. And recently you had a collaboration with uh, another urban artist, so graffiti artist, a oh. uh, French guy here in, in Manila. Could you uh, tell us a bit more about the project? The project was curated by Claire Piton and he, she uh, propose be with this project. It's a little bit late notice, but you know, something that I can, I can't refuse because I'm going to collaborate with uh, the guy I, I've known for years. I see his works in uh, books in the library and like it's something that um, I wish, I, it's, a, it's like a, uh, a dream project for me. What's the name of the other artist? Uh, Sit legend in France in terms with graffiti and street art. Very talented guy and easy to work with even though the, the wall is very challenging. We um, managed to make it more fun. Where's the wall? Where can people see the wall? Central Square, yes. It's behind the Uniqlo building mm -hmm. beside Landmark. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a giant wall. I don't have the measurement but I guess it's like it's huge, six right? story building. Yes. 
Yeah, it's really huge. It's so uh, it's colossal. How long did it take you uh, with uh, Fua to uh, we to paint we managed it? to finish it um, seven days, mm -hmm. but maybe without the rain and all the machine malfunctioned and all the there's a lot of um, setbacks mm -hmm. during the the process. Seven days is pretty fast. Did you paint mostly during the night or during, during the night? During uh, the night only, we, right? We notice that it's always raining in the afternoon. In the afternoon, and yeah. it's really hot in the morning. So, and night is is fun because yes. the, the city sleeps and you're working, and you it's like you own the the city. It's like you you see the cityscape while working. It's very uh, it's very dreamy and magical. Yes. You know, to, and all the physicality, it's it's fun. It's like playing in a big playground. How interesting is it to, to work with another artist who is so different in, in some ways, and I suppose very similar in other ways? That's the accurate description, because what I love about it is, is the contrast of the art style, and mm -hmm. you know, he's doing more on the freestyle, and while me, I'm like more on linear, and the subject is more uh, distinct. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the contrast a bit, and especially when he's doing the drips in the wall, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, he plays around with this uh, cheeky Chicanos. It's good, in a different, uh, because I've never done that, like a very messy background. So I think we really jibe. Some of your recent works involve European inspiration, I would say, like what is, what are the, are they Greek? Greek, the Greek guys, yeah. Yeah, Greek guys. Well, where does it come from? Besides from, uh, I'm a big fan of Greek and Roman mythology because I also have a formal training at school. So I represent them as my painting days and my graffiti. So I try to combine the urban and the traditional. It's fun to like doing this contrast between the, the old and the new and also the traditional medium and the, the modern medium together. It's like me, the past and the, the future meets mm -hmm. with my paintings. So. Have you done collaborations in the past? Collaboration with other artists? Yeah, I've yeah. done a lot. Pre-pandemic, I always travel around Asia right. to participate with other festivals. So there we collaborate with other artists. Back in 2018, I, that's where I met uh, Claire Piton. He organized the uh, ASEAN Urban mm -hmm. uh, in Jakarta. And uh, there we also collaborate with artists, local artists. Yeah, you mostly uh, travel in, uh, in, in Asia? In Asia, because right. um, here in the Philippines, we don't have much of a uh, festival like this. So we try to um, represent, I try to represent uh, the Philippines in uh, neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that there is a, a community of, uh, of urban artists? maybe in Asia or maybe yes. even worldwide and how, how, how do you get it's, in contact with each other? It's amazing because uh, when we started traveling back in 2010, the, the community is uh, it's big already. We know each other for, we always see each other during the festivals and it's become a really tight community and we inspire, we try to learn from each other. I've learned a lot from my friends abroad also and you know, see how they're doing and their culture. Every city you go, there's a graffiti artist. And every time you go there, it's like an instant connection. It's mm -hmm. like you, you haven't seen each other, but you already connect. You so, mentioned the word pandemic. So how did you go through, uh, through the pandemic? What was the impact on your, on your art? My coping mechanism that during that time is just to continue doing art to express myself, so uh, my art really helps me how to, like, because the industry stopped also, there's no mm -hmm. shows, there's no um, gathering, so we try to express what we're feeling. Other artists would could relate to, to this, mm -hmm. they're doing the same thing. And how did the community of urban artists, as, as a community, how did you continue to communicate between each other? Did you work from home? Did you exchange uh, uh, from home? Uh -huh. how, how did it work for you? 
Good thing there's the internet. We are communicating visually. Every time I see other artists upload their work, it's give you some kind of uh, hope and inspiration to just continue and uh, just moving forward to express your anxiety through your art, not to stop you. That's the community does, help each other by inspiring each other. What kind of uh, materials do you use for your, for your art? For, uh, well, it depends on what I'm doing. It's not like you're painting a canvas at home, it's different. You have to consider a lot of things. A spray paint is a way to go because it's, um, you can instantly see the, the result. If the weather is good, we, sometimes we explore with uh, house paints and anything that would stick a little bit longer in the, in the very harsh uh, weather. At home, in doing my canvas, I, I don't have restriction when it comes to my medium, as long as it's uh, effective. Right. What would be your message for younger Filipinos who want to follow you in your footsteps? If I'm gonna tell my young, younger version of me, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, it's very cliche to say this, but you, you just have to follow, you follow your heart, you know, you, you do what you do best. You know, not because somebody tell you what to do. And you yourself, do you, do you know already your next project, where you want to go from, from, from here? Let's see what's the journey going to go. But top of my list would be, you know, to have a, maybe a European tour. Whatever um, the opportunity give me, it's, it's something that I, know, uh, I will look forward. And like I said, Whatever my art takes me, takes me, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.